was the Mindset Geek from GoToL.com and welcome back. Now in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the difference between talent and effort. And this was inspired by a conversation. It wasn't a heated conversation, there was no fisticuffs, but it was a conversation on LinkedIn where we were talking about writing. And the debate was whether anybody could learn to be a writer. Not could anybody learn to be a great writer, could anybody learn to be a writer? And I maintain that yes, anybody, literally anybody, could be a writer. Now I feel like I should preface this by saying I'm not suggesting that every single person on this planet is going to end up on the New York um, best-selling list. I'm not suggesting that every single person on this planet is going to be Jane Austen or Emily Bronte or Shakespeare. Incidentally, I feel like I should remind you that Shakespeare spelt his name three or four different ways. I'm just saying. But I'm not saying that any, every single person is going to write the next great biggest work of literature. But that's not what we're talking about. And there's a bit of a problem here because most of us in school, we in our English lessons, we will have read some of these great authors. They get put up on a pedestal. We're told, you know, like the likes of Jane Austen, Emily Bronte, George Orwell's Animal Farm. Did anybody else read that? You know, we, we read these great books and we're told to study them and we look at the themes and the, the message behind the story and all these really, this big stuff. And then there's little old us just sort of showing up in our business. And then we're told, do you know what would be really good? Start telling some of the stories of your business. Start sharing that in a written way. And it can be really daunting. And so I'm here today to encourage you and to remind you, if you have any doubts around this stuff, I would encourage you just to, yes, acknowledge the doubts and then give it a go. Because anybody with enough time, enough practice, enough dedication can get better at anything. Now, I'm not saying that some of us don't find some things easier than others. I get that. Um, my classic example is my clarinet. I played the clarinet, started learning the clarinet when I was nine or ten. And I kind of blagged my way through it a lot of the time. Even my grade eight clarinet exam, my pieces were brilliant. I, re I, I know that sounds really boastful. I don't mean it boastful. I practiced them lots. But scales, yeah, not so much. I mean, <laughs> I remember standing in this exam at the age of 18 and the examiner said, well, if you play something, I can give you some marks. If you don't play anything, I can't give you any. And I didn't know any of my minor scales whatsoever. So I literally just strung some notes together. I passed, incidentally. I didn't pass brilliantly, but I passed. But I used to wing it an awful lot of the time with clarinet. I enjoyed doing it and a natural talent for it took me so far. However, had I wanted to get great, had I wanted to, to take myself to the next level, I would have really had to put more effort in. Now my mum and dad, if they were to watch this, would be reminded, they actually, they moved me. My bedroom was upstairs, like most bedrooms are, and they got so sick of the sound of me keeping time on the floor while I was practicing, they moved me downstairs. So I did practice, but I also used to wing it an awful lot of the time too. And I do, so I do believe therefore that there are some things that come to us more naturally than others. However, that natural ability will only take you so far. Now, there, I, I'm not gonna give you examples now, but there are classic examples of people uh, who, you know, artistic type people, sports people who are naturally have a gift and yet they, they somehow thought that if they had to work really hard at their gift, it belittled that gift in some way. And so if, the, if you have to work hard at something, then clearly you're not gifted, which just isn't true. If, if you've got a natural talent for something, it kind of think of that as giving you a, a bit of a head start, a bit of a, a push up or a leg up. But to really get better, you need to keep using it and practicing and, and, and sticking with it. And so I wanted to remind you today, if there's something that you really wanna get better at, if there's something that you wanna show up doing more of, I don't care whether you think you haven't got the right body shape, and I'm saying that because I'm looking down at me, imagining myself wanting to be a ballerina. <laughs> That's always my example. But actually, if I had any interest whatsoever in becoming a ballerina, it wouldn't matter that I have good childbearing hips. It wouldn't matter. I could, with enough dedication and practice, getting a coach, showing up, or a trainer, or whatever they call them in ballerina ring circles, I don't know, but you put enough time and effort into it, I could do it. And the same is true for you. So if there's something today, if there's a voice in your head niggling at you saying, yeah, but you're not a natural, I don't care. Do it anyway, if, you, if you're interested. I mean, all of this comes with a caveat that 
it's going to take effort, it's going to take persistence, it's going to take showing up every day, it's going to take time. And if you're not interested in something, then you're not going to want to dedicate that time and that persistence and that effort to it. I'm never going to be a ballerina because I don't want it. I've got no interest in, in showing up. But that thing that niggles at you, that thing that you really would like to get better at, I don't care if everybody has told you that you're not good at it. I don't care if you've been told, no, you'll never, you'll never be a writer. Rubbish. Yes, practice. If there's somebody who's naturally gifted as a writer and they dedicate themselves to the craft, they will become great. If you think you're mediocre or someone's told you you're average, that you dedicating yourself to that craft, practicing getting better, you will get better. You might never be, like I say, on the on the list, on the best-selling lists, but you, you might be. Who knows? You won't know unless you try. So that thing that niggles at you, I'm here today to encourage you and empower you and inspire you and give you a permission slip if you need one to give it a go. Acknowledging it will be hard work, acknowledging it will take effort, but wanting it and giving it a go and trying it. Because like I say, if you don't try, you'll never know, okay? Excellent. Go and do it, try it, experiment with that thing and don't give up at the first hurdle. Give it a good effort before you decide you don't want it anymore, you know, and, but keep going. Daily actions, do it, okay? Excellent, and as ever, if you wanna talk about this stuff, come on over to the League of Brilliance. Theleagueofbrilliance.com will redirect you to our Facebook community and we can chat about this more. In the meantime, smile, have yourself a delightful day. I've been Elle from go to L.com and I look forward to catching up with you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.